Railroad pioneer Charles Crocker earned world fame for building the nation's first transcontinental railroad, perhaps the most important engineering achievement in America during the 19th century. Crocker later built Hotel Del Monte, which opened with great fanfare in 1880. He invested $1 million in the resort and its amenities. Early hotel advertisements called Del Monte the most elegant seaside establishment in the world, and the resort featured a large saltwater bathing pavilion, racetrack, botanical garden, and miles of scenic drives. Notable guests and world travelers filled the trains to Del Monte. President Rutherford B. Hayes arrived in September 1880, the first American president to visit California. Her Royal Highness Princess Louise Caroline Alberta, daughter of Queen Victoria and Prince Albert, visited in 1882. Princess Louise said, you have the most beautiful place that I have ever visited in my travels. Industrialist Andrew Carnegie agreed and said, I have seen many beautiful places, but this surpasses them all. Joseph Pulitzer proclaimed, Del Monte has no equal. Rebuilding from a devastating 1887 fire, the resort thrived until world events and a changing society overtook it, and in 1919, it was sold. A new company emerged, along with a young visionary. Del Monte Properties Company, with Samuel Finley Brown Morris as its president, would revive Hotel Del Monte and create an enduring legacy for the Monterey Peninsula that shapes our lives today.